Hey guys, we're here in Nashville, still working on the Megadeth album. I'm here with Dirk. And uh, a week ago, I asked you guys to send questions about music career. Music career. So I invited uh, Dirk to be with me to read the questions and we're going to talk about it, right? Sounds great. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we have a question here from Paraguay. What's it, what is the hardest thing to do when recording an album? All right. So I think uh, normally people think the hardest thing is to go to the studio and record. Mm -hmm. And uh, I disagree. It is not. Uh, it might be uh, hard work because uh, in a rock band, like a guitar player has to, to track one song it would, would take many hours, right. like a five minute song or four minute song would take just a rhythm track, would take many hours because you have to repeat, repeat, repeat until you get your best take. So you have to play something that normally in, in, a, in a level that normally you don't play, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah, you repeat yeah. every part. And when, you, when you're done, you have to go back and redo it to create a, st a stereo image. So you have to retrack mm -hmm. your best again. Right. And uh, if you want to build a, like, a, like a, a wall of guitars, you might have to do that four times. Oh my gosh. You know, so I'm so to... happy I'm a drummer because <laughs> imagine if I had to do drums and then play the exact same exactly. drums over those. <laughs> yeah. So it's a lot of work, but that's more like a hard work because once you know what you have to do it, you mm. just have to do it. Yeah. And I think this is not a is not a big deal. The hardest part is to create the music. So that's what we're doing now. And mm. that's so difficult because basically you're dealing with your fears and uh, it's very hard to show your ideas because our ideas are not never like 100% great. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. even if they were, we wouldn't feel like exactly. because yeah. you always think that somebody else is doing something better, yeah. which is a normal feeling as well, mainly in the internet and you're like on, on your phone and like you're checking a lot of players yeah, yeah. and then <laughs> Why are you going to play guitar after Ed Van Halen or after, like, <laughs> or, you know, exactly. why are you going to do music after yeah. Chopin, Beethoven and, you know, mm -hmm. Beatles or yeah. you name it, yeah. Led Zeppelin. Yeah. So, but you have to do it because you want to express yourself, mm -hmm. right? But it's very hard to, to, you know, to be confident enough to show your worst ideas yeah. to, the, to the band members yeah. Yeah. and uh, yeah. to be criticized. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then people might say, "Well, I don't like that." Mm -hmm. And then it was like your best idea, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only idea. So it's yeah. very hard. So that's the hardest part right. to to yeah. create something, mainly to create in a group. And when you're doing a solo album, it's even worse because then you have no one mm -hmm. to help you to to right. to judge your yeah. your ideas. Right. So you're lost. You you're alone there, and then you don't know anything. You just mm -hmm. at some point you have to go, okay. This is it. This is it. Let's yeah. let's do it. So it's very hard because you have to to deal with your insecurities and with your fears. And basically, you have to learn how to dance with your fears mm -hmm. and uh, accept all the bad ideas and mm -hmm. expecting that from hundred ideas, maybe one is going to be good enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, the the, pe the fans and the people that are going to listen to your music, they're going to like it. And then. Mm -hmm. um, when you're a beginner, then you have all those fears because it's gonna be your first, yeah. Uh, yeah. your first album, your first song. It even, even I'm talking about music, but can be to any artist. Right, right. You're Putting yourself out there the first time is very intimidating. Yeah, it's like your first blog, your first yeah. <laughs> post or yeah. something, yeah. And, uh, your first photo, whatever. Is everybody gonna like dislike this or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's one uh, a difficult thing, but. After many albums, many songs, many things, the fear is still there because now you have to come with something new, yeah. and then you still have the your best yeah. to yeah. kind of to compete with, right? right. Because right. all the songs you recorded mm -hmm. was the best yeah. that you could do in that year, right. and now you're there again, uh, yeah. trying to compose a new song, a new album, and then you look back and have like. All the best stuff yeah. that yeah. it was possible to do yeah. throughout the year. So you have mm -hmm. to not only look to the other musicians and then, wow, am I good enough? And then you look to your career and it's like, wow, 
I, I'm not sure I can beat that, yeah, you know, exactly. like yeah. my, my younger self. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I think definitely that's yeah. the hardest part of doing an album. So mm -hmm. what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's very true. And, um, you know, the, the, the other thing that I would say is that when you start, you know, when you're, let's say it's your first recording or one of your first recordings, there's also the, the fear of the red light, right? When, yeah. when the, the studio guy, the engineer or the producer presses record and then you're like, oh, you know, yeah. we're like, oh, oh, you know, yeah, I yeah. can play this really good when I'm in my rehearsal yeah, space yeah. or in my room, but now all of a sudden it's going to tape. I know for me that took many years to kind of be relaxed in the studio, just play like you usually play. Don't think about, you know, if you play and it, it gets recorded and there's a mistake or something, you start again or whatever, you know. But uh, but but I think um, I think what you mentioned is true, too. And, and I think that's why when I now when I go into music, you know, whether it's here in the situation where we're recording this album with Megadeth or whether it's other stuff, I just kind of try to forget about all that. Mm -hmm. forget about what I did before forget about what people might think because I think in the end as an artist you know when you express yourself there has to be a part of you that is at peace with whatever the reaction is like some artists release an album that's really successful and then maybe they do something different and it's a complete flop mm -hmm. and you have to be okay with that and understand that maybe the flop is going to teach you a lot why did it flop why did people not like this this thing I did you know mm -hmm. and then you can learn and and adapt or react or not react or just be like whatever that's what it was at that time exactly, people yeah, didn't yeah. like it it's okay the main thing is to be peaceful with yes. your own ideas with, yes yeah. and then yeah. let, because, it, let it go because the, there's the famous example of course of artists who were like you know I, I can't remember among the classical composers I know there were some who were never famous during their lifetime oh yeah everybody was looking down on what they were doing and then sometime later after they passed away they became yeah. most the biggest of them thing. yeah most yeah most of them, of them right or Van Gogh was another example of a guy who was extremely poor throughout most of his life had kind of a, a bad life and then you know now his paintings are the most expensive yeah, in the yeah. world along with Picasso or whatever. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's also sometimes the society needs to catch up to, to uh, art. Exactly. So exactly. that kind of tells you, well, you know, yeah. there's no really no need to stress. Yeah. You see, <laughs> everybody's a Van Gogh or a Bach or there you Beethoven, go. <laughs> <laughs> right? But uh, yeah, to the, to the modern world with the internet, like showing a lot of stuff all the time, mm. a lot of great musicians, great artists. Yes. It's very tough to to come with your own things yeah. and believe that's good enough to also to put out. Right. But the, basically, if you think like, oh, that's the way I feel good about it, I, that's me, should be enough to put out, yes. should be enough because mm -hmm. you're different than anybody. So, And so that's like, the key. That's the key. Yeah. So you have to believe that you're, you have always something different to say and then it doesn't matter what it is, just if it's you, it's good enough to put out but it's hard to get to, the, to this <laughs> level and uh, yeah, to accept yeah. all the, you know, the horrible stuff. I've, yeah. I've been trying a lot. Of, I have, we have a bunch of riffs here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most of them are crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's reality. Yeah, or maybe yeah. they're good for something else. Yeah. Actually, it happens yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is cool, but yeah. not, for, not, for me either. not for here, you yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's another thing, too. Mm -hmm. So your trash can has to be full of ideas. <laughs> Basically, that's the thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments, uh, your questions about music career, and uh, I'm going to be here answering your questions. And probably with Dirk, we're here for another yes. week, right? So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys.